Well, hi guys, Emma again. Welcome back. Friday night. And time to make some more bits for this little engine. Next bit of these stainless steel panels. If we have a bit of a look here at what we've got so far, the stainless steel panels go between the between the boiler ends, like we can see in this picture here, with four vent holes and a fold top and bottom. They're pretty straightforward bits. Have a look here at the drawing. Got four 10 mil diameter holes and a six mil fold on each end, so they're straightforward. I've marked them out. What we've got is a couple of bits of stainless sheet here. See, I blew them out and I marked the four holes just at 25 mil centers and marked the folds. I'm going to drill them first. And I sort of had to play with them. They are stainless steel, so they'll be a bit hard, but I've got a step bit that's going to do it. I'm just going to pilot hold them first. Then we're going to run a step drill through them. I'm going to do two at a time, and then we don't have to worry about scratching the outside of the surface with a file while we... This will be the outside and I want to keep it nice and shiny so if we just deburr them as we go with the step bill from the other side. Be a bit careful with these because it's very very easy to go one hole too many. We want to go one, two, three steps. steps two three steps might just deburr them a bit on this side So what we've got is the two bits of tin drilled and ready to go. Next job is to fold them up. So there we go guys, um, you fold it up, 90 degrees, a 6 mil fold on each end and they've got the holes in them. Now according to the book I've made this jigger, which has basically got a round corner on here and a hole in here, the two pieces to go together, and that's to put a bit of dash on these holes just to, to make them look a bit nicer maybe. So I've done a sample on an old piece of stainless that I had here and it looks like it's going to work okay so if we set that up on the vise nice and tight like that and slip that through the hole it's a nice neat fit and set it down nice and square Put 
it go till it starts to change sound and we've got a dish hole. I haven't actually managed to bang my finger yet. Last one in that side. Make sure we get them from the right side. So making them up was pretty straightforward and easy. That's what they look like. They might need a little bit of fine tuning, but they fit together in there like that. Where the bolt goes through this hole here, and this hole here, and holds it all together. So it's another bit made. And that's so that's another bit made. So that's all just sitting together there on the base with the burner. And have a look, that's starting to look really quite business like. So, next job is to make some bolts to go through it. I've just got some soft 3mm steel, probably brass welding wire or anything to do just to run through there with a thread on each end and four nuts. And that's the firebox finished. So, thanks for watching guys and now we're on a bit of a roll some more pretty soon.